Hello, my name is Justin Ferreira, and this is my game, Dungeon Diver. This game was made using Construct 2, which is a Java-based visual event sheet program. Dungeon Diver is a roguelike adventure game, which is based off the Binding of Isaac. I made this game while at Adelphi University doing a pre-college program. In the first room, it teaches you how to play with either the keyboard or a gamepad. The character's movement is a directional and he can pick up items in this room as well, which are disguised as just pictures but work as regular items. When you start exploring, you'll find enemies and all doors will be locked until all enemies are dead, but you can also blow up the doors with bombs. Once all the enemies are dead, you can explore other rooms because the doors will open. This room is a shop. You can buy things by colliding with them when you have the right amount of money. If you haven't already noticed, in the top left corner there are icons that show how much of a certain item you have. With bombs, you can blow up rocks and they might drop some items. But also, if you blow up this certain rock, you might be able to reveal a secret door. This door was hidden using an instance variable that made it invisible until it was overlapped by a bomb explosion. In the top right corner, you can also notice your hearts. If you lose hearts, you can gain them back by pickup items. The room mechanics were implemented by using different planes in Construct. When your character collides with a door, they're teleported to another plane with specific coordinates so that they can progress through the level. The floor is progressing you to the final boss, and when you beat this boss, you win the game. But if this boss kills you, you will lose. But if you also lose your hearts at any other time, you could lose the round. The boss is programmed to bounce off walls and bounce off your items, except for bombs. So if you were to use bombs the entire match, you could simply win while he's bouncing across the walls. But if you hit him with arrows, he'll start bouncing off your arrows and start bouncing all over all the walls. Sword will also cause him to bounce, but this is tricky because he could bounce into you and cause you to lose health. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this game, you can play it at justin2019.itch.io. And if you want to play any of my other games, they're also at the same website. I'd also like to say a special thanks to Lee Stemkowski, Dan Hickey, and Paul Marantonio. Because without them, I wouldn't have been able to learn how to use Console 2 effectively. And they also provided some assets for the game. And thank you Adelphi University for allowing me to have this amazing opportunity.